What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Chadio here. It's Friday still. This is part two of the Four Ronnie Friday, and we are checking out two Ronnies, Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, is this going to be kind of like the story of Alice? Are we going to see a Mad Hatter and Cheshire Cat? Who knows? But if you're new here, hit the subscription button, ring the bell, also leave a comment down below and give a thumbs up. Let's get into Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Labor party? <laughs> That's the one. Come on, girls. Let's go. I'm the hare. He's the hare. He's the hatter. Is as loony as the latter. <coughs> Your hat is on fire. I'm smoldering with desire for <laughs> Alice in her winter underwear. Winter Wonderland. <laughs> what did I say then? You said underwear. Underwear? No, no, no. Underwear, Under ladies, there. lingerie, peekaboo bras, garters, and go between. Did I say all that? Well, you have that in mind. Well, I'm not as mad as I look. <laughs> I rather think I overdid the sherry. I'm drowsy and definitively drugged. I'm well beyond the stage of being merry. As a hare, I do insist on being young. <laughs> and there's the Duchess. Trying hard to fall into some fella's clutches. I don't fancy yours. No, I'd sooner be indoors with Alice in her winter underwear. Wonderland with, with Alice, Alice in her winter, winter wonderland. <laughs> Christmas Eve, oh dear me, got to bed at half past three. Christmas morning, kids are up at dawn. Who gave Willie that hunting horn? <laughs> Christmas Day, state of shock. Try a sniff at ten o'clock. Knock back another one, then another five. Stuff that goose, I'm still alive. <laughs> Christmas lunch, pour more wine, more mince pies. I'm feeling fine. Knick knack, six pack, bucket full of beer. Up to here with Christmas cheer. <laughs> Little snooze, time for tea. Slip some scotch in, they'll not see. Card tricks, funny hats, crackers and balloons. Play Evita on the spoon. <laughs> This old king, strength of ten. Let's play postman's knock again. Knock, knock, nicky knack, knickers in a twist. The queen of hearts, she looks quite pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to say she looks quite pissed, but huh? quite pleased. I'll take that too. More gin, no more lime. Let's play sardines one more time. Perfect strangers and disappearing bears. Chase the neighbor's wife upstairs. <laughs> Past two, time for bed. Let's knock Christmas on the head. Nick knack, pretty wax is on the way. Start again on Boxing Day. <laughs> this dinner has been going on for five days. Off with everyone's heads. Perhaps we'd care to watch some more television, my dear. I don't think I could take any more. 
No, I know. There's been altogether too much TV this Christmas. On the 12 days of Christmas we've seen upon TV, 12 hours of snooker, 11 hours of bowling, 10 co-repeated, 9 Polish dramas, 8 panoramas, 7 brides and brothers, 6 Nolan sisters, Torville and Dean, for what it's worth, 3 to 1, to the manor born, and a speech from the dear old queen. Should have been too, too many Ronnies. Too many Ronnies. <laughs> no? No? Okay. I tried. I don't think my jokes are really landing today, are they? <laughs> the other queen, my dear, you know, the one on the stamps. How would you know? You didn't even see it. You missed the speech from Buckingham Palace. I'm sorry, my dear, I was out with Alice. <laughs> I must say, I didn't rate it much. It wasn't a patch on Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> or Dallas. <laughs> Let's not bother with TV, shall us? It's either the ballet or Maria Callas. I think I'll give the ballet a miss. I'd rather watch Fulham at home to Chris. To Palace. <laughs> It's much more fun at this Christmas dinner. The turkey this year's an absolute winner. If you're talking turkey, I hope you're aware, the king of turkey's over there. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> his head. I don't advise it, my dear. He'd probably run around the farmyard for ages afterwards. Anyway, there's nobody left to carry out the orders. Where's the white rabbit? He was the third course. Oh, so he was. Delicious. <laughs> well, where's the knave of hearts? He's taken some tarts off to the pictures. <laughs> this party is getting out of hand. Those two fat boys at the end of the table are eating everything in sight. Off with the knives and forks. <laughs> we tweedledum and tweedledee. We're not really twins, as you can see. He's smaller than me, he's fatter than me, and we both like filling our faces. We're tweedledee and tweedledum. He's my friend, he's my chum. We're gorging away and filling our dumb like a couple of proper disgraces. There's chunks and chips and cheese souffle, scallops and dollops of liver pate, corn on the cob and creme brulee. We're, We're bound to be sick in the morning. <laughs> There's ham and halibut, haddock and hake, pickles and prawns, sausage and steak, truffles and trifles and tipsy cake. We might go off bang without warning. <laughs> That's it. If people start exploding, then that's the end of it. It's Alice's fault. Off with her heads. All six of them. Oh, come on, girls. It's time to leave. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, that was uh, that was good. It was obvious that that was uh, digitized from a VHS tape. <laughs> that was funny. I kept like stuttering and stuff. I was like, <clears throat> "Excuse me." I was like, "What the hell is going on with this? What is going on with this video?" But that was uh, Alice in a Winter Wonderland. That was really fun. If there's a two Ronnies you want me to react to, let me know down in the comments. But until then. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Oh, yeah. And Merry Christmas in August. Bye.